Thanks for tuning into the Clapper Report. My name is Aaron Clapper with Shorewood Realtors. This month we're going to look at days on market and it's just a little peek into how strong the market is doing. And more specifically, we're going to look at this month as compared to exactly one year ago. Let's start in the city of Manhattan Beach. Now in Manhattan Beach, the current days on market for all condos, townhomes, and single family residences is approximately 46 days on market for properties that have sold. Last year at this time, it was 47. So it's virtually the same. In Hermosa Beach, days on market this year for this past month is 55 days on the market. Now for this exact same time last year in 2014, it was actually 73 days on market. 73 down to 55 really tells you that Hermosa Beach has picked up in the past 12 months considerably. This year in Redondo Beach, the average days on market for July of 2015 is 43 days on market. And for the corresponding time frame of 2014, it was 41 days on market. Again, it's another two days on market, but virtually the same. In the city of Torrance, the average days on market for July of this year is 42 days on market. And for last year, it was 45 days on market. So slightly better. In Rancho Palos Verdes, last year, we saw days on market at 71, and this year it's slightly increased at 83. It shows possibly a slight, slight softening in the market, or at least in how quickly properties are selling. In Palos Verdes Estates, this year we have 40 days on market in the month of July. Last year in PV Estates, we had an average days on market of 52. So, which again shows a slight increase in how quickly properties are selling. In Rolling Hills, this year, days on market is 103, and last year it was 123. Again, a slight increase. And finally, in Rolling Hills Estates, last year the average days on market in July were 82, and this year in July, it was actually 41 days on market, which is half. So what that shows is that the market is actually a little bit more competitive this year, and if you see a property that you like, that you want to buy, there really is no reason to hesitate. Waiting doesn't actually benefit you as a buyer. If anything, waiting only increases the possibility that you might not get the property. It's really more of the same that we've been seeing month in and month out in this area. The market is strong. If you're a seller, you're capitalizing, you're maximizing value, you're doing well, you're selling for more money than your property was worth just a few months or certainly a year ago. If you're a buyer, it's always still a good idea to invest in South Bay real estate. Virtually over the long term, you almost can't go wrong. Property values are going up, they're consistent, and even as we see over time, there may be slight dips, but over the long haul, in the long term, which is what a real estate investment really is, it's a long-term hold, you're going to make money. So if you have any specific questions, feel free to reach out to me. Again, my name is Aaron Clapper, 310-546-9800, or aaron at clappergroup.com. Thanks so much.